To calculate the support reactions for a simply supported beam subjected to a triangular distributed load, we need to find the total load, also called the equivalent concentrated load, and the location of this load along the beam. Then, we can use the static equilibrium equations to find the reactions at the supports. 1. Calculate the equivalent concentrated load. For a triangular load, the magnitude of the equivalent concentrated load equals the area of the triangle. In this case, the base of the triangle is the length of the beam, 12 meters, and the height is the intensity of the load at the right end, 3 kilonewtons per meter. So, the area of the triangle equals... 2. Find the location of the total load. For a triangular load with zero intensity at one end, the location of the total load is one-third of the distance from the peak intensity end. So, the location of the load is one-third times length of the beam, four meters from the right end of the beam. 3. Calculate the support reactions. Here is the free body diagram of the beam. We'll use the following symbols for the support reactions. AY for the vertical reaction at the left end, BY for the vertical reaction at the right end. Since the beam is not subjected to a horizontal load, the horizontal reaction force at the pin support is zero. We can use the following equilibrium equations to determine AY and BY. Since there are no horizontal forces, we don't need to use the first equilibrium equation. For the second equilibrium equation, we can write AY plus BY equals 18 kilonewtons. For the third equilibrium equation, we can choose the left end of the beam as our point of reference. Taking clockwise moments as positive, we get... Solving the moment equation for BY, we get... Now we can use the second equilibrium equation to find AY. So, the beam support reactions are AY equals 6 kilonewtons and BY equals 12 kilonewtons.